The South Bay Sponge is a concept for using nature as the tool for climate adaptation in the Bay Area. When we heard the word sponges, we thought of sponges. But naturally, it's the sponges that's so important. And I learned the beauty of the work the sponges do to protect the community. The South Bay and Silicon Valley are low-lying and highly vulnerable to sea level rise. A new strategy is needed to protect these communities. Flooding occurs as higher water levels in the bay combine with stormwater runoff in low areas. Nature, in the form of wetlands and marshes, can act like a giant sponge, absorbing and filtering floodwaters while at the same time providing critical habitat and biodiversity. What I would like to see in the new shoreline is more opportunities to be on or near the water, like kayaking, picnic areas, cafes, things like that. I would love to see more transit to the shoreline, especially like any place around here, because this is much easier, more convenient for us to get to, especially for young kids. Nature is kind of critical in our communities, especially in Silicon Valley, because everything is so urbanized. It's important to kind of have the right balance and bring nature back into our community. Protecting the community is the number one priority. We propose three transformational concepts to create the South Bay Sponge. First, we propose a soil swap. The soil swap takes soil from the most underutilized and at-risk areas and uses this soil to create higher ground. The new high ground provides protected space for new development, housing, and public amenity. The low ground becomes the sponge, new freshwater wetlands and tidal marshes along the shore. Together, this combination of shoreline protection and absorptive natural systems ensures greater resiliency as bay waters rise. The result is a continuous new shoreline that offers flood protection, large-scale green infrastructure, and parks, trails, and diverse ecological landscapes that benefit the whole region. Next, we propose a land use swap. We start by identifying low-lying and low-density areas along the shoreline. We transfer development rights to unlock the potential for a more dense, mixed, and green Silicon Valley. The result is a softer form of urbanism, combining absorptive ecological landscapes with high-density development, housing, and transit. The land use swap is a strategy to de-densify the lowest lying areas of the shoreline and to densify sites on higher ground, all coordinated with improvements to regional transit and mobility. The aim is to encourage resilient forms of living on the bay, to increase opportunities for housing and affordability, and to enhance the quality of life across the region. Finally, we adapt the creeks. The creeks today are largely constrained as they pass through neighborhoods on their way to the bay. We widen and soften the creeks to increase capacity for water storage, absorption, and filtration. The softer, wider, and greener creeks become linear parks with trails that connect the South Bay towns to the bay. As the softened creeks approach the bay, they merge with sponges to create micro-deltas along the shoreline. The result is dynamic, diverse, and adaptive ecological systems for a more resilient South Bay. The South Bay Sponge is a framework for adaptation, for adapting our shoreline and infrastructure, and for advancing our methods of planning and design to achieve new, resilient forms of living on the Bay.